I'll write it down, I'm sick of my voice I'm freaking out, but it's not my choice Cause if I can't get past the night I still have to get past the daylight I wish I was dreamless But I can't control my mind And I know I should stop I know it's not right it Seems like when he's gone He takes the light My fault for falling too far down I yelled his name when he couldn't hear a sound Welcome back to my channel. So it is currently 7.40 where I live and I feel like it's 7 a.m. or 6.30 a.m. My eyes feel so heavy. I'm super tired. <sighs> but I finally got a car stand. Yay! I'm so happy. I got it yesterday, finally. Hopefully it doesn't move too much. I have a feeling that it won't crossing my fingers but we'll see I'm about to go to Ryan Brothers it's a coffee shop like 25 minutes away from where I live so it's not too far and then I'm gonna do two classes there I just have to listen to lecture and then I am also going to prep for finals today they close at 3 so I'm gonna try to get as much as much done as I can and then I have my last class today at 3 p.m. so we'll see how that goes but yeah, I'm gonna talk to you guys as I go. It's a little shaky. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. I didn't want this to happen. I apologize if this video is super shaky. Ooh, look at that sun glow. Good morning. So yesterday I did not film my workout. I actually was supposed to work out in the morning with my sister-in-law, but we didn't wake up on time. So we decided to work out later. Yesterday, TJ Maxx opened, because it hasn't been opened in months, and me and my sister-in-law and my mom love that store. Unfortunately, my mom had work, so she didn't go. So me and my sister-in-law took her three kids. It took us an hour and a half just to get into TJ Maxx. It took us like another hour and a half or two to shop. It took us like another hour and a half just to check out and wait in line to check out. It was the most ridiculous experience of my life. We got there at 10.30 a.m. and we did not leave till almost 3 p.m. Like how insane is that? But we, I did go make a Starbucks run when we were in line. Oh, I'm gonna have to fix it. It's so shaky. Ugh. Yeah, so we did that yesterday and then we were also supposed to go to the mall and return something for my parents. It was just already a super exhausting day by then after we got out of TJ Maxx. We got to the mall and we went in and they didn't even have the size my dad wanted. I was like, oh well. We just got coffee after that. It had been a long day. You know if you have two cups of coffee in one day, it's a long day. Let's see what's on the radio today. I never listen to the radio. It's a commercial. Am I the only one that exaggerates my yawn? Just for fun. That it's not too crowded inside <sighs> you know six feet and whatever this is like the only place that I know of that lets people sit inside their coffee shop but yeah let's go come on and he couldn't hear us sound
Good morning guys, it's currently the next day. I am currently sitting here. Carson is getting a haircut, so I'm waiting for him. We have to run some errands, and tonight is my cousin's graduation dinner that we have to go to. I think I need a haircut too, because these used to be here, and they grew that much. These used to be shorter, probably like my chin. And now they're just too long now, so great. That is what our day looks like. I don't know, I think we're gonna go get my cousin a gift, but I don't know where yet. Maybe Target, I don't know. I do wanna finish getting some last minute wedding stuff. Wedding planning, so fun. It is fun, but it's just a lot to think about, especially when you still have a life to worry about. But I will talk to you guys when Carson comes out. Hey, when you get a haircut, you're supposed to show it up. <laughs> Not feeling great today. Oh, oh, Good morning, guys. My hair is a mess. My room is a mess. My life is a mess right now. I have two finals today, a presentation final and a three hour final for my anatomy lab. <sighs> so I have to get through that. I'm about to go smash out. I'll just a quick one mile run and then later I'll get my the rest of my workout in. It's kind of hot today so I'm going to be super sweaty and I'll probably wear a hat. I literally could not film yesterday because I was in the worst pain of my life that time of the month. If you're a girl, you would understand. Carson and I were out yesterday running errands all day. This is the worst angle, by the way, to be filming. I'm okay, so we are gonna walk now to the spot that I run. It's literally like a five minute walk. It feels okay today, but I know, let me cross the street here. I know that when I start running, I'm gonna die. <sighs> so I'm gonna do the one. I just did the one lap, and I'm just gonna do my eight 100 yard sprints now. Cause there's a guy sitting on the bench out there. I don't trust him coming around a couple of times after I'm dying so much. So I'm gonna do my eight 100 yard sprints now. I'm over, cause I can't get enough. Come on, in the water's fine. Oh, yeah. If you take the first step, oh, no, you'll find that the tide is getting high, but I'm holding you so tight, so. You can sway with the palms and the pines while you sing to the sky, get a breath of the fresh air, just you and I, in the back of your mind. Or you can dance in the sand with the drink in your hand, but baby, I'm all set and we lie. Cause loving you is paradise. Spill the sun on my skin, taking your vibration. Wanna feel you again? Faded conversation, only place I exist. Come on in the water's fine. Yeah. If you take the first step, oh, no, you'll find that the tide is getting high. But I'm holding you so tight, so you can sway with the palms and the palms. So, I just finished the 100 yard sprints. Oh, geez always. Usually, with my soccer team, when we do those, they're a little longer and we get a longer break. But since those, sh since those sprints were a little shorter, I only gave myself like a maybe three to five second break and that was it. But just smash out the eight really quick and get it over with. So now I might go do, I think I'm gonna do my ab challenge now, just cause I just ran. It's the best time to do abs. And then 
And then after that, I'll drink the rest of my green drink, cool down, and get ready for my three-hour lab final. But yeah, I'll see you guys at home. So I just finished my workout. I'm officially done for today for working out, and now I can focus on my two finals. I have my three-hour lab final in like 20 minutes, so I'm gonna eat. <laughs> Ew. What's up, guys? So it is like uh, literally four or five days later. This video has been one video in an entire week almost. Uh, and I apologize for that, but it is what it is. I have finals this week. So last week I was literally studying and prepping for all that and getting last minute assignments in. And so that I can focus this week on my finals and just studying for those rather than trying to do projects and papers. In this previous workout that you just saw with my run, after my run, I went home and I am in this plank challenge with my family and it was only a week. And the week before that was like a burpee challenge. And basically for the plank challenge, Monday we started at like two minutes in, or a minute. You do a minute and then you take a 30 second rest and then you do another minute. And then day two, which was Tuesday, you do two minutes and 30 seconds. And it just keeps going up as you get to Friday. And so yeah, I was part of that. And when I got home after my run, that's what I did with my brother's girlfriend. And we were both doing it. And I was also waiting for a call from my dad. And so there was like eight seconds left on our timer for our plank and I wanted to finish it and let it play out before I answered my dad's call because he started to call me like the last eight seconds. And so I let it play out, whatever. And right when I let it play out, I got up super quick out of my plank to run over there and I did and ugh, that's when I hurt my knee. Typical me. I strained my MCL, which is here, the inside of your knee. Today is Monday, my gym opened up this past Friday so I finally got to go today and I did my strength training because it's been about four or five days. I do have another video this week coming for you guys and it was my engagement shoot with my friends. They came. Yeah let's do the verse of the day. I'm like debating whether I should go to the gym again later but then again I'm like Mariah calm down this is your first day back over from your injury. Oh this one's good. So it's Isaiah 43, 18. She forgets the former things. She does not dwell on the past because she sees that he is doing a new thing. That's a really good verse. That is such a great reminder because I feel like sometimes we dwell on the things that God has done for us already, which is great, honestly. Like, don't get me wrong. That's, that's great. Like, I think you should praise God for everything he has done in your life and blessed you with. But also, I think you need to focus on what he's doing now in your life. Because when you go through things, like say your life is good and he's blessed you with something. And you're at this great point in your life and you're kind of up here. And then all of a sudden you hit one of those seasons and you drop here. You know, when you go through things, you forget about what God has done for you. But also, I feel like in that season, I, for, I feel like we tend to focus, like especially me, I focus on... The negative and the bad and what's and I feel like my life is miserable even though somebody probably is going through 10 times worse than I am somewhere out there in the world and I don't try to find the little things that God has blessed me with like waking up in the morning you know being able to live in this house you know having food on the table like all that through that even through a season is still blessings from the Lord like he's still providing for you even in those seasons also the end of this verse it says because she sees that he is doing a new thing. So even though you're in those seasons, I think that like you have to look at it the bright side because God is trying to teach you something. He's trying to strengthen you and he's trying to make your relationship stronger with him. And that's just looking to him, praying to him, worshiping him and just running to him in those moments because he will bless you and in every season and and within every pain, there's a purpose. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video.